All right, people, finishing up week one. Got all my tape study done today. So many things I could talk about earlier in the week. We talked about the Dallas Cowboys. Now, always just want to try to find a storyline to try to uh, let you guys know what happened in that week of the NFL. So today I chose Josh Allen. Josh Allen coming off an MVP-type season a year ago. We were all sitting back and waiting. Okay, will we see that same guy? Is that Josh Allen the guy that we're going to see for the rest of his career? High hopes for this team. And obviously, we all know uh, that they lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they didn't play very well offensively. Josh Allen didn't play very well offensively. And I'm going to take you through some of the things that I saw today. And, And again, it's only one game. Nobody's here to panic. But... I've always felt that some of the things with Josh Allen from a technique standpoint cost him in, in his accuracy. Now, we saw a huge jump last year, and we saw some improvements there. So the hope is, hey, he's just better physically now. He's better technique-wise than he's ever been in the past, and this was just a bad game in week one. But let's take a look at the tape, and let me show you some of the things I saw from Josh Allen the other day against Pittsburgh. All right, so let's get into this here with Josh Allen. And – combination of reads and throws that he missed okay so here's what we're looking at right here looking over to his right hand side okay so he's looking at this choice route right here doesn't like it two guys are squeezed no problem could go to his one-on-one over the top but i got no problem with him turning back to this side he's going to turn back to this side and he's got the curl right here in front of him but i want you to watch the technique turn he's set there's a good pocket turn and throw it You're going to watch him start to dance, start to slide, start to move his feet going this way, trying to throw it back that way. Always going to lead to errant passes. You're going to see it right there. Not much happening. Might even have got tipped right there. But you see just technique, technique, technique. Just flip, turn, throw right there. Boom. Let it go. You got yourself a completion. Little things, little things. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Okay, see rotation. See rotation. So Steelers do some funky stuff. Okay, so they got all these safeties here. This safety is going to drop down. This one's going to go back to the middle. This one's going to drop down. But ultimately, what you'll see is this just becomes a three deep, four under type coverage. Got to be able to see that as a quarterback, see that rotation. Now we've got a curl flat out to the front side. Recognize it, see it, throw it right there. Okay, if you got the window to throw that, throw it. Otherwise, get it to your flat right now. Get the ball out, get a completion. Finally gets there, finally gets there. But it's one of those things that gets set, looking down the middle of the field, needs to be set over there, get the ball to that guy quicker, and you got yourself a big play. But ultimately, he got there. Just want to see him clean some of these up and get faster. And, And as we progress, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? Little play action right here, okay? We get the one-on-one, okay? You got opportunities, okay? We got our guy up top with a little stutter go, something that they made a living on last year. All right, I get what I want. Safety dropping down, this safety from the backside hash. Love Josh to be able to see this. Opportunity to take a shot, okay? Get stuck over to the left-hand side. There it is right there. See Diggs running past his guy. That's the shot that they took last year. Okay, not going to argue with this. He gets back here, makes a nice completion from a long ways away. So we get a positive play. But it's seeing the rotation, understanding what you're seeing, and then going to get some of those big plays that you got last year. All right. So, again, those aren't horrible. You're getting to the right guy, getting through his progression, just not making maybe the, the throw or the big throw that we saw last year. No problem. Okay, here's another one. Now, we got what we want. Seam right here, going to turn the safety, get the seam down the middle of the field. Manuel Sanders running by his guy. I mean, that's easy. Once again, Josh just airmails this one, big arm, and just misses it. Put the ball up in the air. Just get it up in the air and let your guy go get it. Uh, another missed opportunity, right? It was a close game. They had a chance to win. Missed opportunities over and over and over again in this game. And, again, one game. I don't expect this to be Josh Allen. I expect him to play really, really well this year. But a lot of things that we're missing. Okay, here's another one. Get the jump here. Going to throw the corner there. We've got it. See his feet. Feet are aiming that direction. Yes, he did this last year. Yes, he made a lot of these throws last year. 
I'm just a firm believer. Let your technique get away from you. And there's always a chance to miss. And there's another one. Misses what we would all expect to be an easy throw for Josh Allen. Another missed opportunity for a first down. Okay, Steelers messing with their coverages here. Okay, see it? Now they're trying to run back to a cover two. Okay, no problem. Running back here, going there. This guy's dropping down. Okay, so trying to look at the big picture right here. So big picture says we've got, okay, if I'm looking this side, we've got a corner and a now. Okay, this guy's deep. Take it right now. If I'm looking the other side, this this and an under right here okay. all right deep deep take your under take the throw take the read instead becomes a throwaway becomes a sack when there's an easy read to both sides right in front of you second and long take it get half of it back don't have to make the big throw down the field another missed opportunity right there can't miss opportunities like that against good football teams it's good football teams, all right? So here, choices, okay? So again, they're gonna drop down in the middle. They love to drop in the middle, okay? Read that safety. You can make your choice, okay? You feel he's going back to the middle, no problem. We got a little in right here. Let it go, rip it. If you feel like that guy's hanging there too long, easy. Get back here to your curl on this side. So I don't care which side you go to. If you like the depth of this guy, let it go. Let it go. There's your window, throw it. If you don't, look at this right here. Wide open on the curl back to this side. Instead, we pull it down. And I see why he pulls it down. I see this safety back here. But see it earlier and get back to this side where you've got an easy completion right off the bat. Now, again, another throw away, another missed opportunity. Here we go. We've got a little Tampa 2, OK? One, two back here. Tampa, this guy's running down the middle of the field. Anytime we have double seams against Tampa, we always like to read off the Mike linebacker. He turns and opens his eyes to this direction. Look for that seam on the backside to the prob probable conversion to the outside off of that safety. Okay? So, okay. I mean, he maybe read it, soft corner. He's taking the hitch. Okay. I mean, he gets it. He completes it. But... Look at this opportunity on the back side right there. Look at that, right there. Opportunity for a huge play that last year, this is the kind of stuff he made. This guy's turning and running over there. You got all this room to get that big chunk play in there, get yourself a first down. Instead, we're completing this. That guy's squatting, making the tackle, missed opportunity. Running through here, double seam, middle closed. He's going to cross right here. This guy's going to go down the seam. Read that safety. Gets over here. See it again. There it is. Right there. Right there. Huge opportunity to make a throw, get a big completion. See how long it takes him to get there. Long it takes him to get there. Even so, if you like this one and you felt this guy got depth, that's okay. If you're reading there first, take that throw. I can live with that. But he gets back to the seam and just, again, just air mails it to the outside. Another missed opportunity on a big play. I don't even care if you get back there and you feel this guy squeezing and you recover out there to the stop. Either one works. But you see, again, technique, getting away from him, throws, getting away, with it, away from him over and over in this game. All right, here we go. Middle closed. Double seam. Double seam. Okay, I'm going to hold the safety over here. I mean, look at all the bodies over here. Four bodies over there, really only one over here. So I want to look at that guy's body language. Body language, look at him. His hips turn to the line of scrimmage. He can't turn and run. This guy gets close to him. There's a great opportunity and throw right there that, again, I think Josh Allen makes last year. Okay, completes that outside. He gets 13, no problem. But I'd like to see him ready to... Rip that right there in the hole and get him a big play. But, again, won't be mad at this. We'll go get a first down right there. Completion to the outside if you feel that guy's too deep. But 
see the numbers originally, see the hips of this guy originally, I can get back here right now and read that body language and be ready on the back side. But nice working through it, nice completion. We'll take that. All right, so there you go, right? Josh Allen, great last year. Didn't come back as strong in this first game, and you see a lot of the things there. Technique, throws getting away from him, missing a number of reads, a little bit late on a number of things that I, again, expect him to clean up. I expect him to be better moving forward. But you can see in a close game like that against a good football team, you can't miss those opportunities. And so something I have my eye on going into week two is that we've seen a lot of guys in this league have that year, that MVP type year, that year where they play head and shoulders above what they are the rest of their career. Josh Allen's young. I expect him to be a great player throughout his career. But that's what I'm watching this year. Was, was last year one of those special years uh, for him where he plays at a different level? And then maybe he drops back down to what we're going to see, which is going to be a really good quarterback the rest of his career? Or was this just one of those games that was an aberration and he didn't play well, didn't come out sharp? Okay, we all have them. I've had millions of them in my career. Uh, we'll see how this season plays out. But it was just something that – jumped out at me when I saw it over and over and over and over again because he really didn't have any games like that last year. And so to start out a season like that just has you sitting back and watching to see what happens to him in week two.